Welcome back to Jaha Homestead. It's Danielle. We are in the kitchen again making a clabber recipe. So this is using the clabber that I showed you in another video. We made one and a half gallons of clabber and we are going to make cottage cheese with this. So clabber essentially is raw milk that you've left on the counter. I add a big dollop of buttered, cultured buttermilk. Sorry, my children are coming in to it to help um, promote good bacteria that I want growing in this. And I have a gallon and a half. So for me, the first step was doing the clabber. And now my next step, this took about three days. Both of these are totally done. I'm ready to use this or stick it in the fridge because I don't want it to get any more sour. This is the perfect amount of sourness for me. I'm going to go ahead and scrape this cream off because it's not gonna come out very well in the finished product. So I would rather use it as sour cream than to have it be in the way whenever we are making cottage cheese. Okay, so we are actually going to add our clabber to a heavy bottom pan. I have my Dutch oven that I'm gonna be using. I think it will fit a gallon and a half. I do this all the time. I always push the limits of whatever pot I'm using. I've always done this with a gallon, but I'm pretty sure I can fit a gallon and a half. I know it's some lovely sounds. We're gonna heat this up to 115. So a really good thermometer is essential to any of your cheese making. So I will get this started and we will come back. As this is heating up, I'm gonna go on about a uh, medium low. I'm just going to be going through every now and then and cutting the curd of our clap like this. But this is actually room temperature, probably about 70 degrees because this was setting out on the counter, so it won't take us long to get to 115. Hey, so we are about at 100 degrees now. This hey, smells hey. so sweet as it is cooking. It, the curds are warming up. I'm just going through every now and then and cutting them like this. You don't need a curd knife. This is kind of overkill. This is huge compared to the amount of milk I have. But you can use a butter knife, bread knife, whatever. Just make sure it's clean. There's no yeast on it from bread baking. Uh, and cut through the curds. We still have about 15 degrees to go. Okay, we are at 115. I went ahead and turned the heat off. And I always sanitize my cheesecloth, which is actually a flour sack towel from a local grocery store, with uh, boiling water. So I have my kettle on boil, so I'm gonna go ahead and pour boiling water over my cheesecloth and then I will get ready to pour my curds into my cheesecloth. Okay, so I have all those curds hanging in a bag on my little hook in the kitchen with a bowl underneath. And we're gonna let them drain. Uh, the directions usually say overnight, but depends on what time of the day you start this. So. It's not even quite noon right now, so I could actually get this off this afternoon. Probably five, six in the afternoon would be all right. Uh, or you could let it go all night. It's really up to you. If you do it at in the evening, definitely let it drain overnight. But I will check it this evening around probably eight and show you what it looks like. Okay, here is our cottage cheese that have been has been draining overnight in our bag of curds. I'm gonna go ahead and crumble it up a little bit, break up the curds a little bit. I was actually worried that this had went too long, but it's still really very moist, so not, not too long at all. Okay, that looks good. I'm gonna add one teaspoon of salt and mix that in. delicious and then one tablespoon of sugar sugaring this organic sugar cane sugar from Costco mix that in And then half a cup of cream 
This is cream we ladled off this morning, so I'm gonna give a little extra. And that's it. Very quick, so much better than the recipe in my 200 Easy Cheese book. They have um, a recipe for cottage cheese I've done before that was delicious, but it took forever. And there you have it, a traditional, easy to make recipe with our clabber. This would be a traditional cottage cheese. This is what our grandmothers would have made when they were making cottage cheese. Much different than the store-bought. It's delicious. Pour a little peach jam or any kind of jelly or jam on top. Or pineapple. Mm. It has so much more flavor. So I hope you try making this with your clapper sometime. If you do, let me know how it turns out in the comments below. I'll talk to you again later. God bless. Bye.